Hello, Aku here again. Welcome to episode 39 of my beginner's guide for Feed the Beast. It's uh, probably not really beginner's guide anymore. It's probably a mid-tier guide now, but uh, we'll, we'll keep calling it beginner's guide. Uh, I want to cover a couple of little things I've done with bees before we get on to the IC2 stuff. But this is going to be another IC2 episode, following on from last time. Uh, we've got some things to make and some things to add to our IC2 network. Now, one thing I've done is, if you look at my XP bar, you'll see it's going to start going up. Because these cultivated bees I'm still on top of. I've got the um, explorer tree, which I bred up yesterday with the Edenic bee. They've got the, I've added it to these cultivated. I've also added it to um, my industrious and my imperial, but I've actually switched them off because I've got too much stuff. Yep, too much stuff. Wonderful, eh? Um, this, this way of production I've got going works too well. Right, industrious is done. I'm just refilling the serum because the explorer serum was empty after doing them bees. So industrious, they can go back in there. But as you can see, I've actually turned this off. That's just all I've done is I've turned that off there. So you see, just one life cycle of bees is created over a stack of combs and over a stack of pollen. That's just from one life cycle. So um, that one life cycle there, this is going to fill up. I guess it might not even all fit. So I'm going to have to take some of them out. Um, so that's not turned on, so nothing will, nothing's going to come out there. Same with that one, I've turned that off as well. Um, a bit closer. There you can see. Um, I don't know which ones of these I've showed you, but I've got a demonic in there. Refined in there. And I've got radioactive in there, which is producing me uranium. Now, I've been doing mutation a little bit wrong. Um, I've been adding it. It's actually multiplicative. I think that's the right way of saying that. Well, it's not the right way of saying it, but... I think that's the actual word, I just can't say it right. Um, so, uranium is a 10 times multiplier. So, a bee with a 10% chance, you need one uranium to make it 100% chance. A bee with a 5% chance, what I've been doing was using two uranium, because I thought it was, each one added the 10%, uh, but it doesn't multiply. So, a uranium in there, it'd take a 5% bee up to 50%. Then, uranium in there, it times that by 10 again to make it 500%. So you don't have to use nearly, nearly as much uranium as I've been using. So that's quite interesting. Um, in the 1.5 version, over mutating will cause things to go wrong. So we have to actually be a little bit more careful about what you put in. Because I guess a bee with like a 25% chance, if you use the uranium in that, and I think it's 250. And I think 250 will give it a chance of creating a, a swarmer, which is something you don't need to know about yet. But... Um, be aware, it's not addi it's not additive, it's multiplicative. Bleh, bleh. Um, it, it multiplies. So, yeah, so two uraniums in there is 10 times 10, so 100 times the chance. So, um, we don't have to use nearly as much uranium as I've got, but I still made the uranium bees. I've left the thing up there to show you how I did that. Um, austere and rocky gets you an unstable. Unstable and rusty gets you a nuclear, and radioactive is nuclear and glittering which we are we had all of them that can come the edenic which has got me the, got me the explorer effect is there so tropical from a have tropical the austere gets you exotic and then exotic and tropical gets you the edenic or edenic i guess um which gives you the explorer trait kind of nice so i'll be adding the explorer trait to all my bees so whenever i'm stood up there doing anything i can get free xp or i can go on afk near them and get free xp and what else have i been doing so, uh, I'm just uh, modifying this modest princess, just to get that barren one there. Meadows and modest. I just want it so I've got, so I've got the option. I want to get a no flowers serum just in case. Yeah, because I've had to spread this into two separate chests because you had too much stuff there. So there's a lot of bees I've been using. There's a lot, there's a lot of serums I've got. Um. So yeah, that's pretty much all I want to show with bees. Uh, what I can show you is I've got now. Nearly 500 uranium ore. Each of them, them radioactive bees, they produce, they don't have any here at the minute because it's all getting processed. They produce, um, no, there ain't any in there either. I've added an extra centrifuge, by the way, because it will not keeping up. And I'm actually running out of frames, if you look. If you look in there, I'm down to 83. I had like 400 in there at one point. So I'm running six lots. One squeezer is not enough. That's where the hold up is here. It's the amount of seed oil getting squeezed. Oh, I'm actually low on melon seeds as well now. That's interesting. That was there. Uh, that was keeping up. 
That was full every time I looked before, but yeah, it looks like I've actually run out of seeds. Interesting. Unless they are all, I hope they're all going in there, not until here. Let's just check. That's all the saplings still. Okay. Um, I've still got plenty of saplings, even though that's the only thing feeding into there. Uh, under 5,000, but that's still plenty. Um, see there, a lot of petroleum combs and, and oily combs. I've not even started processing them yet. Oily combs are what you get you, you can process into fuel. And petroleum can become biofuel. So I've got loads of extra fuel there, just sat there doing nothing. Uh, yeah, pretty crazy stuff. So why is this not keeping up? Is this turn on right? Yeah, it's still going right, look. So that's producing me seeds whenever they grow. So I may have to add some more of these. I think these only go eight deep, maybe six deep. I may have to increase it, increase that so they grow a bit quicker. We'll see. Come on, grow. Let's just show me that you're growing. I want to see that you're growing. What are you doing? I definitely think I may have to add some more of them Zycraft soils underneath there. Zycorium soil. I said it doesn't seem to be growing much, does it? I thought I'd see a melon grow by now. I'll be studying a good 30 seconds. I'll break the camera out and I'll make sure all of these are growing and then I'll be back in a sec. So when I brought the camera, there we go, one grew. So, things are growing, just maybe not quick enough. And I'm going to have to speed that up. By adding more of them soils underneath. So let's have a quick look at that and then we'll get one of the IC2 stuff. Um, look, I've got a wall of soils there. But I think that's as far as it goes, yeah. That's as deep as I went with that. So I can take that. Further down, I can take it all the way down really. I could bring it right down to here. Um, hello guys. Right, get on with IC2 stuff. So, why haven't we made? Well, we haven't made... I'm going to do some more Greg Tech stuff. Mainly the grinder, which is going to go down here. But before that, we've got our basic extractor and our compressor with some carbon plates in, thank you. And the thing we're missing there is a macerator. So the first thing I think to make is a macerator. Now, macerator used to be the first thing you'd make, one of the first machines you'd make, but with Greg Tech it makes it a lot more difficult because you need three diamonds. There's a macerator recipe. Now, I don't know if this is going to work because the alternative for that aluminium block is a machine frame, but I don't know if that'll auto craft, so let's have a look if it will. But it did. There we go, I've got a macerator, so it uses three diamonds. It says industrial, but it's just normal diamonds work. And um, if we have a quick look at the recipe here, you can see it's got alternates. There's um, use bronze, aluminium, steady casing, machine block. I use a machine frame there because it was just easier. And uh, the rest is pretty thing. You can use diamond dust, which is just pulverized diamond, or you can do this recipe, which uses a grinder, which I didn't bother with. So there, we made a macerator. Now what I want to do is. What you can do with these, as you can do with the ones up here, is you can give them transformer upgrades, or you can overclock them, or you can give them more storage capacity. This, this is a bit of storage, this little red thing there is a capacitor built into it. So that's all in so much storage, you can add more storage to that. That's what these slots are for. But in Ultimate Pack we've got a little add-on called Advanced Machines. And what Advanced Machines do, they let you turn these three machines into advanced versions of these three machines. If that makes sense. I'm going to do it. I'm going to break that. I'm going to break that. And we're going to look at the advanced machines of these first. So let's have a quick look at what we need for these. Now, I'm actually going to need some more of that air. Uh, let's get some more coal cooking. I'm going to need some more of these carbon plates. I think. Let's throw all that in there. Uh, and that. This is ready for making something else, which you'll see in a bit. I'm going to put them in there for now, but you don't have to see that just yet. So pretend you didn't see that. Not that it makes a difference. Right, let's have a look at these three machines then. What we've got. Macerator. See, advanced machine block, refined iron, makes it into a rotary. Compressor. Um. There it is. Advanced machine block and obsidian makes it into a singularity compressor. And then the third one, the extractor. This one's a little bit different. 
this goes into quite a lot of things and all there, an extractor. That needs electrolyzed water cells and again an advanced machine block. So we need 300 advanced machine blocks and some other stuff. So let's have a look how we make these electrolyzed water cells first because we're going to need them. Industrial electrolyzer, water cells, gets you one of them. So we need seven water cells. That's the first one we need to do. So let's grab one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And let's uh, go get our water source, which is still over here. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven of them. And we can get these cooking while we do the other bits. So we need our industrial electrolyzer, which is set up here. And seven of them can go into there. Now this is, I believe, connected to our network. Let me just check. Yep, I connected it. So them seven electrolyzer cells should end up down here. Well, one and two, not done yet. Let's put another stack of coal in there. Just uh, manually making some coal as I'm going here. Some air uh, coal does. What I should do is put an interface on top of there and add that recipe. And uh, probably get rid of that smelter for now. And then um, put a import bus there. Uh, I'll, I'll do that at some point. So, right, what do we need? We need, we need some more refined iron for a start. Craftable. Refined iron, let's have 64 of them. Now for that, what I've done is I've added a recipe in there. Look, one refined iron comes from one iron ingot. So this is one of them overwrite recipes that you use for the processing. So that's making me some refined iron. Uh, using clicks. Um, someone mentioned yesterday about I could have a separate terminal. that One that shows crafted, one that shows stored. Unfortunately, this setting is shared across all the terminals. So if you had two terminals, they'd both show stored if it was set to that. You can't set them individually, which is unfortunate. I would actually like to have two. One set to craft and one set to stored. But yeah, it, that's, it shares that setting. Multiple multiple ones share the setting. So that's uh, that's something we cannot do, unfortunately. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I've added a couple, that reminds me, I've added a couple more things here. I've added, um, no, I've got the 1K storage units for dirt and cobble. I've also added, so there's dirt, there's cobble, I've also added gravel and obsidian. As I noticed, they were getting quite high and I don't want to keep getting them forever. So um, if we look now, there's 8,128 dirt, same with cobble. Gravel's nearly there and obsidian's a bit back still. But they'll, once they get to that same 8,128, the excess will go into there. There you go. Gravel obsidian, go into there and get incinerated. Wonderful. Right. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. We're also going to need 24 of them for machine blocks. And there's our electrolyzed water cells have come through into the network. Nice. There you can see the radioactive combs just quickly before they get destroyed. Fresh you on that, you'll see that. Each one of these has a 50% chance of giving you an uranium ore. So you don't get one every time, but 50% chance. That's pretty cool. So you, you'll get uranium for days, as the saying goes with that. So plenty of uranium. Wonderful. Um, right, all I need to do now then is make three machine blocks. Make these into advanced machine blocks. For that I need some advanced alloy, which I believe I've added to the system. Uh, advanced alloy, there we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. So there's our advanced machine blocks. And now it's just a case of putting the right things around these. So electrolyzed water cells. This is a centrifuge extractor. Obsidian gets us a singularity compressor. And refined iron gets us a rotary macerator. There we go. There are three advanced machines. There is an actual IC2 machine that's like the advanced machines, and that's the induction furnace. Have a quick look at that induction furnace there. That's this looks like an advanced machine, and it has the same property that you can keep it spun up. Now I'll, I'll explain that in a minute, but that's actually vanilla IC2, even though it looks like the same. I should actually make one of them just, just for uh, completion sake, really, shouldn't I? Iron furnace. I think I made an iron furnace by mistake. I did. 
So what was that? Two redstone on a circuit. Let's let's just do this real quick. Uh, circuit. Two redstone. It says an electric furnace. And then we need another machine block. Uh, advanced machine block, sorry. Two of them. Two of them. I should actually um, add these to the ME crafting as well. And then that gets surrounded by copper. That's a 34567. Now the only difference with this is this one doesn't accept upgrades. I'll show you what I mean by that in a minute. So um so that's that's yeah, that's vanilla IC so these are advanced machines, although they have they've got similar recipes and they've got similar properties. The um the difference being the induction furnace there will only take medium voltage whereas the rotary macerators can be upgraded to accept high voltage using transformer upgrades which we're going to get to in a minute so because this is medium voltage to the induction furnace it's going to want to go on the medium line so just for now just I'll probably move this again at some point but I'm going to stick that there just to show you it that's on medium power and the thing with all these four machines is see that's got a 0% heat value there well if I get a lever or a redstone torch I'll use that redstone torch for now and put that near there so a redstone signal onto that what it's going to do it's going to start heating that up and these machines when at full this one's temperature I'll show you what these are in a minute but this one's temperature when it's at full it pulls 2 EU a tick just to maintain that heat but it's much much quicker it's really fast so it's worth, it, that's the worth doing, the worth having. So I'll actually probably set this up off camera at some point. Let's go with the ME network and a lot of the stuff that we're putting through that furnace downstairs I'll probably put through this because we're quicker. So what I'm going to do with these is, let's put these in a row down here. Now I'm going to want power, power into the back. This, this place is miles too small for this. I've said that a few times, it's not getting any bigger. Um, Let's just have these there, there, and there. So there we go. You can see centrifuge extractor as a, a velocity meters per second. The compressor is pressure pounds per square inch, and the macerator as rotational speed, rare rotations per minute RPM. So what we can do with these is, and you see these have got the upgrade slots. Now these only take 32 you would take standard, I believe. Um, so each one of these needs something called, we're going we're to run these off high voltage. So we're to bring this line straight around there. If we did that now to blow up, what we can do is we can add things into these slots called transformer upgrades, which is what I'm going to do next. You see this doesn't have a slot, so you can't do that. But this actually runs off medium voltage standard. So this has actually been bumped up one to medium voltage. So what I need to do now is make some transformer upgrades and to make that quick, I've actually put that into the ME crafting. So let's go have a quick look at the recipe down in the Mac, the molecular assembler chamber. So you see there, machine block, these gold cables, uh, MB transformer, they all combine to make a transformer upgrade. So see, each one actually uses an MV transformer, so they're quite expensive. Because you could just, um, you could just, transform it down so you need one medium one low but they, they, they run a lot they, they, they use power a bit better so I like, to, I like to do it this way so there we go glass two of them gold cables there transformer and a circuit I'll get us them them things there transform upgrades so I'm going to need six of them because I need two for each because I say they're running on low voltage we want them to run on high so one will take them to medium and two will take them to high so six of them let's craft them and then it may take a while because uh, some things may need to be processed. Let's see how quick it goes. Now I don't think they've got. That's pretty quick. There we go. Look. And I've, how much um, cable we've got? Seventeen. Good. Good. Seventeen cable. Um, I really don't like the way I've got this laid out. This 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 base is far too small. Um, this place is just jammed full of stuff. Uh, I'm actually going to move that. Break full. I'm going to put that there. 
Yeah, that'll do. So what we want to do with these is each one of these wants two of them. Two of them. What? Two. So if I grab six of them. Oh, they're the only stacking fours. They may be only stacking fours. So the two should be left in there still. Yep, there we go. These damn stairs. I, I'm I'm going to change these stairs, I believe. Because it's far too slow for running up and down as much as I run up and down. Two in there. So now these will all take high voltage. So it's just a case of running this power on the back of them. Shit. Well, that didn't work, did it? How did that happen? Hmm. That shouldn't have happened. So this blows pretty well. Well, I've got a clue what's going on there. Eh. Uh, hmm. Okay, I'm going to cut the camera and see what's going on. Because they shouldn't have blown up. And I need to make some more now as well. Wah. Back in a sec. Well, I'm not where it's out yet, but I just wanted to show you this. I just jumped onto my Let's Play server for a second. That I have not been in for quite a while. Um, pretty much exactly the same setup here. Look, there's the demos. There's the MFSUs. Feeding power. Medium voltage goes that way. This is high voltage. And it comes into the back of these machines, which are the same machines there. If you look, rotary master right here, two transformer upgrades. Running at full speed. With a high voltage line in the back. So, no idea why they blew up. Um, I'll do a bit more investigating off camera, back in a bit. I just wanted to make sure it was actually, I'd done it the same as this well, because I was pretty sure I had, but um, no idea where that's happened. No idea. Back in a bit. Well, I'm back. I've still got no idea. I made a post on the FTB forum, see if anyone can shed any light onto what happened there. Um, I, see, I don't understand what happened. If you look back at the video, there's actually a one block gap as if the current was jumping. I can only presume it's something GregSec does. And uh, until I have a better idea of how to get around that. And I'll leave that for now. So what I've done, I've remade the compressor and the extractor. And um, I've made a macerator but I can't upgrade it yet because I need to use the compressor to make some more um, carbon plates. So uh, I'll have to leave that for now. What I'm going to move on to is the industrial grinder which will start giving us better returns from our resources so it's quite important um, as I said with this thing with if you put um, a redstone si signal onto these let's just get uh, let's just get three levers do this right here um, if you put a redstone signal onto these so if I put one on that block behind it does that work? yeah there you go you'll see that start spinning up so what you can do is you can have these running nice and quick. Obviously we need to put we'll have to put this somewhere else because we're gonna want ME interface. One's around there, I'm saying. Um and that one has the same functionality. So all these guys have this speed, this uh this spinning up feature that I should really show you once it's running at full speed. Let's I'll I'll take that up, I'll show you how in fact let's turn that off a minute and I'll put something through there. Just to show you what it's the speed of it it's like without when it's not spun up. So what we've got any that we can cook. Some that'll do, some cyclot right. So So there's one and these things you can you can have two things at a time in, which is quite useful. Uh, the extractor's got three outputs. So if you put in sticky resin for example, one sticky resin gives you three rubber so you could put a stack in there and you could you'd get all three stacks out of it instead of having to keep going back. Obviously we're going to wire it to the ME network so that's not that important. And the macerator, uh, sorry the compressor, uh, just has one input. Well, as you can see they're really slow. You see that built a bit of temperature and the temperature is dropping again. Well let's spin that up, I'll be back in a minute when that's spun up and we'll put some more and I'll show you the speed of that when it's spun up which makes it worth having I say as far as I understand it these things all take two EU a tick when they're fully spun up um, if you once you've got enough power that is not an issue um, you can just keep them spun up all the time and then you've got really fast or processing or whatever really fast crafting and stuff 
So this is pretty quick. But, um, sorry, not that. This, this is a uh, pretty quick compared to that unspun thing. But you'll see when this is fully when it's fully spun up how quick it goes. Right, I've got a bit more of this coal dust. Let's uh, make some more carbon plates while I remember it. Uh, even that out. Do that. There we go. We can put them into the compressor up there. And then we'll move on to the grinder stuff. So, industrial grinders. They're, um, they're like the blast furnace in the fact that they... Oh, I'll start some... Start some spinning it, did it? This is that speeding up for... Um, Industrial grinders are like the industrial blast furnace in that they'll go around a set of casings. So we we'll have to make some casings. Um, and the same with the blast furnace. I've got this blast furnace on one side here. I could make three more of these blast furnace blocks. Put one there, one there, and one there. So you can have one on each face, one on each side of the casing. So when I'm making a... <laughs> when I'm making a, a grinder. There we go, industrial grinder. Ultimaceration 42A. I don't even know what that means. Medium voltage, like the other one. It has all the upgrade potential, same as the other ones. Um, you can see this thing takes a pump, an industrial electrolyzer, and the industrial electrolyzer takes the extractor, the electrolyzer, the magnetizer. So instead of doing this four times, I've decided just to make four of these in one go. Um, so I've got things set up here to make four of these. The first thing we need is the pumps. Pumps are pretty straightforward. Machine blocks, empty cells, and these mining pipes. Mining pipes are the only thing we don't really see much of. That's just refined iron. We're on a tree tap, I'll get you eight of them. So we've got eight of them in there. We've got all the other bits we need so we can put that into our load. We'll get four pumps. So there's that corner. Then we need to make four industrial electrolyzers. Now that, if you remember, we've made one of them before because we've got one upstairs. Industrial electrolyzer, text extractor, electrolyzer, magnetizer, these are all pretty straightforward each, but they take a bit of doing, so I did it all off camera, got it all ready. Um, there's the electrolyzer, again, standard IC2 stuff. And advanced circuits, aluminium plates, all pretty straightforward. Let's bang them together, gets us four of them. And then, all the stuff for this. Apart from these things, diamond grinders. Now that's what all this stuff's for. Diamonds, if you put them um, into a macerator or a pulverizer, turn into diamond dust. So you've got pulverizer, diamond dust, and macerator is the same. You don't get any more. So you can only get one diamond dust. If you actually use silk touch on diamond ore out in the world in grid tech, you actually get two diamond dust, I think. You don't get, diam you don't get two diamonds. You get two diamond dust. So you can double up. You double up silk touching, but you only get diamond dust. You don't get diamonds, so it's it's useful to silk touch still. What we're going to do with this is pretty straightforward recipe. Using steel plates, spread them out. Uh, turn it wrong one, no. Okay, what am I missing here then? Diamond grinder. I'm missing something. Fancy grinding head. It says shaped IC2 crafting. Diamond dust, steel plates. Diamonds. Should get me two of them. Steel plates. Diamond dust. Diamonds. Meh. What's going wrong here? Um. Let's try it this way. No, it's not having it, is it? That's asking for industrial diamond, but that's just the same as a normal diamond, I think, isn't it? You don't have to fuck about with that here. I'm sure industrial diamonds and diamonds are just interchangeable, whether, whether you use them. That was my understanding. Steel plate, 7781. So it's the right kind of steel plate, diamond dust. It's the right kind of diamond dust. The only thing I can see wrong there is the... Diamond. Does that mean I need an industrial compressor? An implosion compressor just to do that? Well, that really shouldn't be the case. As you saw in the macerator recipe, it said industrial diamond there and that worked fine. Diamond, 
diamond dust industrial diamond so that actually is an alternate there uh, in so look at industrial diamond that looks like the only way of making that is from compressing diamond dust that can't be right surely well if this is right and I've got to do that then I can't see this getting made today because I ain't got enough time to sort all out oh Greg you're an asshole right I'm going to have to break the camera again and see if that's going to stop us from making this uh, back in a bit ok I'm back to blow more stuff up possibly now I asked on the forums and MASH answered and said about Greg Tech fires which I totally forgot about Greg Tech makes it so that if cables and stuff are in direct sunlight they actually set on fire now this is something I've never had to deal with before because normally I have roofs and stuff I left this uncovered on purpose because I was going to show you how to make solar panels and uh, I was going to put them up there but so the reason that's why I put a roof on but I put a roof on here now so this is enclosed so hopefully that was what caused this explosion I'm going to try with a compressor again I'm going to see if we go boom again so I might blow up another compressor that's the cheapest of the three if you're going to blow one off I suppose Um, let's see how this goes I didn't even want it there uh, I've no idea what the industrial grinder thing. Uh, I think I might have to make an implosion compressor because that don't work. Uh, and I don't think I'll have time today because I'm going to watch Star Trek in a couple of hours and I want to make sure this video is uploading before I go watch Star Trek. It's uh, it's what time is it? It's 10 o'clock in the morning. We'll go into the afternoon session. I'm going with my sister because uh, I don't know many nerds. Uh, my sister tolerates me and takes me to pictures. So, um, I'm going to go watch that, so yeah, to get this encoded and then uploaded before I go, I'm going to have to finish the video pretty soon. So anyway, that's enough about my uh, real life. Two transform upgrades, singularity compressor, this is exactly the same as it was apart from we've got a roof on here now. So let's see if we go boom again. Hooray! So it looks like that was that's what, what the issue was. So be careful with Greg Tech, make sure you've got roofs on stuff. Bizarre. Is that so now we've got that powered on high voltage it'll use power a bit better than there before it'll run nice and quick and speaking of nice and quick this should be fully up to up to speed so what we can do is now if you look at this now see that's much quicker so you can bang a stack in there and it'll do it so at a time so you see these machines when fully when fully operational run really quick get through your um, resources really quick so they've got a lot more capacity when you start doing if you're using um, more intense mining methods like tunnel bars or whatever you can get through a lot more stuff using these and as you saw on my main server I have two of each of these because you're generally going to want one with an import bus on the top eh, sorry one with an export bus on the top and one with a uh, interface because as you can see within powered furnace there we've got these things that all need the interface but then as you see with this furnace we've got all these things that actually just need an export bus so you're probably going to want two of them things that would be two induction furnaces could do the work of these much quicker like that's always lagging behind because it's solar powered but I'm just gradually trickle trickling all this stuff into it all the um, cyclorium and stuff gradually gets processed the aluminium and that gradually going through there but I'm in no rush for it so I just, I just let it run like that with value no power um, so yeah that's the that's that sorted then so we know what we know what went wrong there at least so now we can set them up but I'm gonna have to leave it for now I think I have to set them up off camera and I'll show you tomorrow's episode uh, in fact well there's not really much to it all it needs is a export and import bus and possibly two of each just so we've got I say the interface options um, yeah so next it looks like I'm making an implosion compressor so before I go I am going to quickly look at that, see if I can make one without too much trouble. If I can make one without too much trouble, I'll actually make one now. The problem we've got is they use a lot of industrial TNT. Industrial TNT uses a lot of gunpowder, which I ain't got yet. And there is ways of getting gunpowder. The way I like to do it is with a creeper spawner. 
So I'm going to have to make a creeper spawner. So I may actually use a cheaty way of doing it, which I don't like doing. But uh, just to make one quick so we can carry on showing you stuff. Like, we've got our, I mean, we have got our thingy sword there. We could have been collecting creeper souls. Uh, what was it? Soul Stealer 4, wasn't it? Yeah, Soul Stealer 4. So, 5 souls per kill, so 200 and something kills. 206, 204, something like that. Would 204 creepers would get the full shard. What I have done though was when when I was quarrying out this area, instead of going through this massive, um, in massive, what do you call it there? Uh, abandoned Man. An Abandoned Man was f had loads of spider spawners in there, so a couple of days ago when it was quarrying down here, I just uh, I filled a soul shard up with cave spiders. So we've got a full cave spider spawner there. I could put one creeper into that, then combine them in an anvil, and that'll give me a tier 5 creeper spawner. Bit cheaty. And fixed in the 1.5 version, hopefully. I think he's changed it around so that doesn't happen anymore, which is a good thing, because it makes things far too cheap. And that's because, I think I mentioned it before, the anvil, uh, the soul shards, the amount of souls in a soul shard is just a durability number and because it's a durability number the anvil repairs it which uh, is an interaction between the soul shard mod and vanilla which doesn't quite work as intended but uh, for the purpose of the let's play I should probably do it that way just to make it quick and uh, yeah so um, right implosion compressor let's stop messing about Echo come on Implow. Right, two machinals, advanced alloy, a compressor, electronic circuits. Alright, that's pretty straightforward. Let me, I'm going to pause the camera, I'm going to get the stuff ready for that, I'm going to see how long the episode is. Back in a sec. So, back again, last part of the video. Uh, the video is long enough, and I was going to have to stop now anyway. So, I haven't really taught you much in this episode. Uh, possibly I've, I've made some mistakes so you don't have to, so hopefully you won't make the same mistakes I did and blow your stuff up, because... Uh, I've had to waste quite a few materials to remake the items that I lost there. Um, wasted a few diamonds and such like. But now I think we need an implosion compressor. So I've got the bits ready. Circuits, advanced alloy, advanced machine blocks, in place of the steel machine hulls and compressor. Steel machine hulls actually are cheaper. I just can't make them yet because I haven't made an assembly machine. So we will have to get around to that at some point. Um, so that will make us an implosion compressor. Over 9,000 gibble. Um, now this thing is going to go in this room. And it's probably going to go over here. But it's going to need casings. So until we actually make it and place it down. Unless you go to the wiki of course. You don't know what the casings are going to be. So let's just place it and have a look. And it'll take a couple of seconds to settle itself down. And become a block. So there we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 normal casings. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 um, reinforced casings and a hole in the middle. So we're going to have to make more casings. So at the start of next, between now and next episode I'll tidy a few things off. I'll make a big handful of casings and we'll start putting the implosion compressor together and then we can make the grinders as well. I've set these up as I would plan to. So these have all got the two transformer upgrades in. They seem to be holding, even though they ain't got a redstone signal on, they seem to be holding a certain amount of pressure, which is weird. I've, I've used that one to make some of the, to the, make the advanced alloys. So, they normally drain down to zero. I'm not sure where that's getting a redstone signal from, or if it just holds it, it maintains what pressure now. I'm not sure what's going on there, to be honest. But um, there we go. We've got them bits finished. I can wire them up to the ME network and start processing things through them. And we've got space above them to do another three of them as well. So I'll probably end up having two of each of these stacked on top of each other like in the other world and this is going to be a really busy room full of loads of machinery but it should look all right when it's done so i'm going to call it an episode there as always thank you very much for watching i hope this um i hope this episode at least saves you from blowing a few things up or you maybe knew that anyway but um and yeah we'll carry on with that next episode so i shall bid you farewell and i'll see you next time cheers bye